India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. Like all adventurers, we head out into the backcountry. We go out for a trek, for a hike, whitewater rafting or some other kind of adventure. But in the outdoors, in the wilderness, away from civilization, it's very easy to get lost. You can get disoriented in a jungle like this when every direction looks the same. When you're in the middle of the desert, surrounded by dunes, everything looks the same. Uh, you might get into a situation where you have sprained an ankle, broken a leg, cracked a rib, can't move anymore, can't walk anymore, and you're stuck in the location that you find yourself in. And what becomes very frustrating after that is maybe you can see help, rescue, a hamlet, a village, uh, a shepherd grazing his sheep, uh, maybe two kilometers away, three kilometers away. You wave your arms, you shout, you, you whistle, they can't hear you. What you need to do is design a signaling device, carry a signaling device, which is effective, which can be seen for miles, and it won't leave you as frustrated as you probably are. Here's one, which is possibly one of the most underrated signaling devices. But it has been very effective for many years, for many people who have to send a message across, across miles where the shouts will not reach. Take a look. What I'm going to show you now is a signaling device, something that you can use to signal for help in case you're lost, uh, in case you're injured, and you're too far away to shout for help or your whistle is not uh, uh, reaching. You can see the village uh, maybe five, six, seven, ten kilometers down in, the, down in the valley. Obviously, you can't shout loud enough for them to hear you. So what you need is a signaling device and one of the most underrated, though one of the most useful signaling devices is this, a signaling mirror. And we'll take a look at how to use this. I have the sun over me and I need to get the rays in here on the mirror. And then I need to figure out where the angle of reflection is. So you put your hand in front of you and the reflection should show on your hand. Now that's the reflection which will be seen by somebody far away. In front of your face make a V and I have this reflection of the Sun onto my hand and the center of the V, the, the valley here, needs to be pointing in the direction that I want to send the signal to. Then I have the signal, uh, the rays of the Sun pointing at the V which means that it is pointing at the camera. Right. Now, how does the villager know that this is not uh, a piece of metal lying on the road which is signaling uh, and it is somebody signaling for help? That's where you need to know how to send the signal. So let it not be random signals, let it be pulsating. For instance, I can send a signal at pulsating and if I keep on doing that, somebody knows that it's not just some tin foil or a metal which is reflecting uh, the sun's rays. That's one thing you would need to do. But what is invaluable is learning the Morse code. You can send out the International Distress Signal, which is SOS. Very easy to learn. If you know nothing else of the Morse code, learn the signal for SOS. Three dots, three dashes, and three dots. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. So when you're using a signaling mirror, to send the message out, dots are usually shorter, dashes three times longer. So when you're doing a dot, that's a dot, that's three dots, and then you have three dashes, stay a little longer, and then three dots again, which are faster. And repeat that in intervals. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate, and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints, bring back nothing but memories.